Hello, hello. <coughs> We're back. Perpetual prompts with Carrie Griffiths, week 17. Ay. So as a reminder of what the prompts were for this week. Ooh, that did not work out the way I meant for it to. Not sure why everything just fell out of there, but and I don't know if I got everything. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so as a reminder, this week was romance, green, sticker, history, and receipt. So let's see what I came up with this week. Get all my little parts together. <coughs> so I took this piece of green paper out of my, my scraps. Um, and I was going to do it just as my base. But it wasn't tall enough. So I went ahead and attached a piece of um, from a receipt book on the top of that to fill in the space above there. And then I've got some other items going on over here. This is uh, the top of a napkin, like the top layer of a napkin. You see it's got little candy hearts on it. And it's crunchified and the way you do this i have a video on this um in my plate my junk journal playlist um but basically it's um like a faux vellum using um watered down glue Kind of a cool way to use your napkins or tissue paper, any kind of thin, you know, thin paper, packing paper. I've done it with packing paper, um, napkins, uh, gift wrapping tissue, um, sewing paper, like pattern paper. Um, what else have I done it with? <clears throat> I think that might be, might be it. I did like four or five different types of packing paper though. But any thin paper will do. And again, if you want, want to watch the tutorial on that, there is, should be a video in my playlist. That playlist is getting really, really long. But um, if you have not looked at my playlists on my channel, um, I have one that's the junk journaling one. And all of my videos that have to do with creating the challenges, the creating journals, all of those go into that one. But <coughs> each journal... And each challenge also has its own individual playlist. So if you don't want to watch all the tutorials, you know, you just want to watch the challenges, 
you can certainly do that um, just by going into the playlist and finding the one that you want to watch. I don't know where this image came from. It was in my scraps. Um, so from a digital kit, some somewhere. <laughs> I thought it kind of romantic, romancy, right? And then I have a bunch of different types of lovey type stickers that you know, like love letters and, you know, romancy type stuff. Again, I am going to put some glue. Because number one, it's going over multiple layers. And I'm going to cover up this old person wrap there. I do that on purpose. <laughs> I mean, it's not very romantic when you got people staring at you, right? Come on. Now, using Fabri-Tac to glue these down is most definitely overkill. On most of it. Gluing over this napkin piece, I definitely would not trust um, just a regular glue stick or wet glue. And since, you know, I've got to bounce and flip-flop there was no point I didn't see any point in um, switching glues repeatedly just use use one and let's be honest Fabri-Tac is my favorite glue it's never failed me it is expensive And then I'm also using this to cover up this little dude right here. Because again, not very romantic with people staring at you. And then I have this love letter. I had initially had planned to go down with it. But I think I'm going to go up instead. See how quickly that grows, man. You know, it's funny because these videos just seem to get shorter and shorter. As time marches on. <laughs> I 
I've got an itch on my nose. I'm like thinking about the next um, several weeks of pulling for these challenges. And I'm like, I'm waiting. It's like, um, I, I think there's more colors in there. I'm like, am I going to end up with a week where it's like, oh yeah, I have three of my five prompts are colors. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm afraid of happening. I got glue on the sticker part of this. <laughs> so I had to cut the cut them off, glue it down as a single single unit. <coughs> and then I'm going to Get my oops backwards. We got a P. L M N O P Q R. April two zero. Four, twenty-four, twenty-four. What happened over here? A, P. I don't know how those ones got turned. And then we're going to go and get my ink. And we're going to take a piece of scrap paper. Make sure I have the right dates. <laughs> April 24th, 2024. Across the top. Impact. Garbage. Oh my 
garbage away. <coughs> so, thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna go oh, whoa, that white is way too much. So this piece of paper here in the corner, it's got a bunch of words on it. And those are words that are typically, you know, people feel those are good qualities in a significant other. Determined, loyal, fun, creative, independent, respectful, um, those kind of qualities. So I thought kind of it fit in, in my mind anyway fit in with romance. <laughs> so I got receipt. Green. Romance and history, both, if you look at the the clothes they're wearing, those, they are figures. Receipt, green, romance, history. What was my other one? Hmm. Oh, stickers. Duh. Here we have steps. We have art, we have 
storm. Stars, one, two, three, tool. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Keep forgetting to label them. <laughs> Snap a picture for the thumbnail. And I'm like, where are my prompts? <laughs> Getting down to the nitty gritty. Actually shuffle them like cards, kind of. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, and five. Again, totally random. Okay, let's see what next week will bring me. Will bring us. Something with wings. I could do butterflies. I could do ladybugs. I could do fairies. I can do birds, a pattern, postage stamp, mail, and height. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's going to take some thinking on my part. But stay tuned next week and see what I come up with. Talk to you later. Bye.